Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 681. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about another aspect of the millionaire mindset, and that's because 83% of millionaires believe this. Before I tell you what that is, I want to share with you a story. Last year, my sister had a big birthday, and so I thought I'd surprise her and take her to Los Angeles, and we would go to Beverly Hills for several days. We had a great time, and one of the things that she loves to do is go on celebrity home tours. So that's what we did. We got on the bus, drove around neighborhoods, and got the whole tour of celebrity homes. We saw where Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton live, where Katy Perry lives, and we had a great tour guide who really cracked us up. He was very funny, and whenever we would drive by a beautiful home and someone would say, oh, what a gorgeous home, who lives there? And he'd say, oh, that's the house of a random rich person. And we would all just laugh because we knew what he meant. They were someone who was wealthy, who obviously had good taste and could afford this lovely home, but they probably weren't a celebrity or someone that was a recognizable name. But as I thought about it later, I realized that although the people weren't famous that owned that house, they definitely didn't do it randomly. They took specific steps, specific actions in order to become wealthy. And in general, they followed my six steps to wealth. That is the system that I discovered explains how you go from nothing to becoming wealthy. And when I implemented that and really understood it at a granular level, that's when I was able to become a multimillionaire. People do specific things in order to become wealthy. Just like if you're going to run a marathon, you need to train to become a marathon runner. It's not just going to happen. So what exactly are millionaires doing to make this happen? Because that was one of the things that really puzzled me as a child. I would see some of my friends' homes that were beautiful, huge homes on the water. They had their own ski boat that they could run around in and go water skiing anytime they wanted to. They had a whole different setup and situation than what I had being the youngest of five kids and growing up very modestly. And I wondered, why are some people so rich? How did they get that way? And that's really what became my life's study and ultimately what I wrote my book about. But when I saw this statistic, it really rang true with me. Because recently the Spectrum Group did a survey and they found that 83% of millionaires believe smart investing is a key to their success. I'll say that again. 83% of millionaires believe smart investing is a key to their success. What is smart investing exactly? And do you have to invest in the same thing? Do they all get rich making the same investment? No. In fact, other studies that I've read show that actually entrepreneurs and professionals tend to be the largest percentage of wealthy people. So people that have started a business or people who were doctors, lawyers, accountants, etc., professionals, they tend to be the greatest percentage of the wealthy. But having a business is not for everyone. For one thing, it could require a total change of direction from what you're doing in your world and what education you've had, what work experience you have, and how you currently earn your living. And although I'm a big proponent of side hustles and doing a business on the side to get going and maybe moving into a full-time business, there's a time and a place for that. And depending on what you have going on in your life and whether you have a family or how old your kids are, or what's going on with you, that's not always possible either. 
In my opinion, the easiest way to do smart investing is to be a long-term investor in the stock market. That's something anyone can do, even a child. What do I mean by that? Well, certain people have gotten started investing in the stock market when they were quite young. Their parents got them interested in it. They explained things to them. They showed them the tables of the stock market so they could see, so they could read what was going on with certain companies or they got them involved in buying Disney stock as a child. But not all of us had parents that were supportive or that taught us how to invest. And that's okay because it's not that difficult to learn how to invest in the stock market. And many of us have that opportunity because we have access to either a 401k or a 403b, or if you don't have access to that, you do have the ability to have an individual retirement account, an IRA. And depending on how much money you make, that could be a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA. But one way or the other, everyone has the ability to be able to invest in the stock market. And while it does take a little bit of learning and a little bit of experimentation and getting the hang of it, one of the easiest ways, I think, to get to a good compounding rate, that 10% average rate of return that I always talk about, is by investing in the stock market. It doesn't take a lot of cash outlay. It doesn't take superior knowledge. It doesn't take a bank loan like real estate does. It is a very simple way to be a good investor, to make those smart investments. So from my book, I wanted to share with you a story. This is on page 170 of You're Already a Wealth Heiress. Sarah spent her spare time investing in stocks. Over time, it really added up due to the compounding. She never made more than $11 per hour at her job, but accumulated more than $3 million in her lifetime. She religiously invested $500 every month and had a portfolio of stocks that performed extremely well. Investing $6,000 annually for 25 years at 19% became $3,334,911. So smart investing doesn't require that you have to be Einstein. It doesn't require that you have to even identify individual stocks. It is so much easier today because of exchange-traded funds, ETFs. You can just buy an index. You can buy the S&P 500 index, which, as you know, last year was up over 29%. That's way ahead of our 10% average annual return. And in fact, the last five years, it's been averaging 12.5%. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to be a brain surgeon. All you have to do is be disciplined, make regular investments in the stock market. And I hope by listening to the show, you're getting confidence to do that. You're feeling positive about the investments you're making. And you're seeing that a long-term time horizon is really the key to success. Because as I've said, on any rolling 20-year period, the stock market has had a positive return 100% of the time. So how's that for being a smart investor? I just wanted to share that thought with you. I just thought that was a great statistic and I to- it totally resonated with me that 83% of millionaires would believe that smart investing is the key to their wealth because it always does come down to what money engine are you investing in, step four of the six steps to wealth and compounding at a high rate, step five of the six steps to wealth. If you want to learn more about investing, you can do that a few ways. You can pick up my book, You're Already a Wealth Heiress, Now Think and Act Like One, on Amazon or at any bookstore. You can consider joining the VIP experience, my inner investing circle, by filling out the application in the show notes, and I'll set up a time for us to talk. And there's a new way, which is my new Financial Freedom Friday show on Instagram, on IGTV, today, Valentine's Day at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. And if you've already missed it, that's okay. It will be recorded and on my Instagram page, at Linda P. Jones. And don't forget, we still have our review contest going where you can win one of 10 copies of my book that I'm giving away or one of 10 Wealthy Mindset Blueprint audio sets valued at $197. 
and five people will win wealth mentoring sessions with me. All you need to do is leave a review on iTunes. Your name is in the drawing one time. Or if you have an Android, leave your review on stitcher.com. That's S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R.com. And if you've read the Wealtherist book and leave a review on Amazon, your name will go on the drawing two times and winners will be announced in mid-March. And thank you to everyone who's already left a review. They mean so much to me. I really enjoy reading them and you are the best. I treasure every review that I read. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.